Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys today. I want to talk about Solana because Solana is making big moves, guys. And I also want to take a look at Ethereum because, man, oh man, Ethereum is getting absolutely decimated when it comes to Ethereum pairs. So Ethereum versus Bitcoin, Ethereum versus Solana is absurd. And I want to talk about that because I want to give you guys my opinion on what I think is going to happen with this market here. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop in this video, guys. Okay, so over on Crypto Twitter, you can follow me at 333 Black C. I say, in all actuality, based on market sentiment, market sentiment, if this is not the bottom for Ethereum, then the F might just be headed to zombie chain status. Okay, guys, uh, the market sentiment on Ethereum right now is absolutely absurd. There's lots of memes going around. I'm having some fun posting some memes as well about how Ethereum is basically, everyone's saying it's dead. I mean, Ethereum has been dumping versus Solana, dumping versus Bitcoin. Bitcoin went to 69,000, came down to 65, 66. And Ethereum came down to like 2,500 from basically around 3,000. And now Bitcoin is back up to 68,000 and Ethereum is still at 2,500, okay? Ethereum is bleeding out versus Bitcoin's value, bleeding out insanely versus Solana. And uh, it is very fascinating. You know, usually these times indicate it's the bottom when the entire crypto space is attacking a very, very large, the second largest cryptocurrency in the world. Usually that's a signal that the bottom may be in for that asset. But I, I do honestly believe that either it's the bottom or there's a good chance that Ethereum continues to bleed out and it doesn't retain a lot of value. And let's be honest here, guys. I may offend some Ethereum maxis here, but Ethereum versus Solana, Solana is faster, it's cheaper, there's a bigger community. A lot of people don't really want to go over to Ethereum and spend $50 to trade uh, a meme coin. They want to buy $50 worth of a meme coin and it costs $50. And now you spend $100 and now your trade is basically down 100% if you do that math correctly. And uh, when you could be on Solana and you could be spending a fraction of a penny to buy $5 or $50 of a meme coin. It's just very, very different. And I think Ethereum really needs to catch up here. And yes, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of big money involved in Ethereum. It's a, a hundred plus billion dollar asset. Okay. But, um, guys, we're in cutting edge technology. And if you don't keep up, you're going to get surpassed. And I do think that there is an honest chance that Solana can flip Ethereum, which is absurd to say. I know I wouldn't be saying that, uh, two or three years ago, but Guys, the technology is there. So let's take a look at Solana. We're going to take a look at some pairings here. Solana is sitting at rank five, up about 19% on the day. Absurd. It has absorbed billions of dollars. Honestly, I think a lot of it is flowing out of Ethereum to Solana. It's kind of becoming a little bit of a narrative here of Solana is going to flip Ethereum. Solana is going to flip Ethereum. It could happen. It could happen. Uh, is it a likely Really have to see how this plays out. This cycle, I mean, that would be absurd. Ethereum is sitting at a $306 billion market cap. I mean, if Ethereum doesn't, well, let's be, let's be honest here. Let's be, let's be really honest here. All the moon boy aside, all of that aside, all the doom and gloom aside. If Solana gets near $300 billion, I definitely expect Ethereum to be more of a $500 billion or maybe $400 billion asset near previous highs. So I do think that Solana can get close. I don't think this cycle we see a flip. If that does happen, so many people will lose so much money. And uh, But, you know, crazier things have happened in crypto. So we'll have to see. But I, I say if I were to give it a percentage chance, I'd say there's probably a 20%, which is kind of high, a 20% chance that Solana flips Ethereum this cycle. If you were to ask me, Black C, but what about next cycle? Let's cycle after that. Uh, unless uh, a new blockchain comes around and gets crazy, crazy visibility over Solana, then I do think Solana will flip Ethereum at some point here, guys. So Solana is sitting at a very, very nice $104.6 billion market cap, just $200 billion away from Ethereum here uh, when we're talking about fully diluted. So the market cap of circulating supply right now is $83 billion, but $20 billion is... Not much, uh, especially if Bitcoin decides to really rally here. But I really want to take a look at some of these charts here, right? So Solana, just 
absolutely ripping. But this is classic Solana. Like it, I've been in these markets for nearly a decade, guys, and I've been around since Solana's inception, and it, it's always been a market outlier. And usually, it's to the upside. It it's very very strong. It shows strength all the time. Trading at a, it broke. Uh, it's hundred and seventy eight dollars at some point. I think it did break one eighty today, but just a little wick. But um, guys, I, I will say it. I will say this. All time highs are close, but let's like break out of this consolidation. Uh, this it's a very very similar chart to Bitcoin right now in a broadening wedge. You could kind of draw out if you if you're into drawing patterns and charts on charts, drawing shapes. I should say it is kind of a broadening wedge. But really, I look at I zoom out. I look at Bitcoin and. Bitcoin is consolidating still. We have not gotten that confirmation to test the previous high. And when that does happen, that's when you'll see new all-time highs for Solana. So let's take a look at this, all right? <laughs> this chart's insane, okay? This is Solana versus Ethereum. And this chart makes me upset because I have a lot of Ethereum. I have a lot of Ethereum, but I also have a lot of Solana. I did get stopped out on about half of my Solana at about 117 because I thought uh, there was a stop loss. If we saw a daily candle closure below 117, there was going to be continuation, but it was just a wick, a nice little stop loss hunt, and I got wicked out, and now we're trading at $170. But I still have Solana. I still have Ethereum. Ever since that happened, I was saying, I want to trade and swap my Ethereum for Solana. Runaway train, guys. Runaway train. I could never find the appropriate time to swap. I swapped some, some right there, but uh, it was not my entire bag. I have a lot of Ethereum that's somewhat locked up, if you will. It's hard for me to move it off of where it is, but I want to swap it for Solana, and now I feel like it's a runaway train, and Solana is just mooning. I mean, look at this valuation. Like Ethereum is just bleeding out. Ethereum is just bleeding out versus Solana, and the Bitcoin valuation is not much better. Ethereum is getting absolutely decimated. Look at Solana's strength here, just all-time high, all-time high, all-time high, every single time against Ethereum. Uh, when we look at the Ethereum chart, you know, you may say, well, Black Sea, this doesn't look that bad. I mean, Ethereum does look like it's setting up for an absolutely massive run, and I will be honest with you, Ethereum will run, okay? Eth Ethereum will run. The question is, though, is... Uh, I I is I was being exaggeratory, maybe a little bit of engagement farming, if you will, over on crypto Twitter uh, when I was saying that if this isn't the bottom, then we're going to zero, stuff like that. But um, it, Ethereum is weak, for sure. This cycle, it has been an overcrowded trade from the from, from the previous cycle, and uh, I do think that, well, overcrowded trades underperform, uh, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. And I, I do think that uh, Ethereum is set up for a breakout, though. If you were to draw this as like a ascending triangle, you could be looking at a price target of about eight thousand dollars. So that is on the table. But uh, guys, like when you look at Ethereum versus these other alts, like the risk to reward, I get why everyone's fomoing to, into Solana. Solana was by far my best conviction play. I was buying those dips, guys. I was buying it at $8, $16. I was buying it and buying it and buying it. And it's performed very, very well for me. I made many, many six figures on it. And I, I definitely uh, plan on making more. But um, Ethereum as well is, is just, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because Ethereum, you, you say, well, first mover's advantage is the first smart contract platform. It's got to perform well. And you know, Ethereum will perform. It will. Every time Ethereum performs, guys, it makes that huge, huge move. It's a lot like Crowcoin. We talk about Crowcoin a lot on this channel. It's a lot like Crowcoin. And when it moves, it's usually towards the end of the cycle. And usually it indicates a massive altcoin season followed by the end of the bull market. Okay? So we need to be paying attention to that. And we need to be prepared for that when Bitcoin actually, when Ethereum actually does make that big, big, big move that we say, okay. Probably should be taking profits right around now. Probably should be preparing for a big pullback. That's what I'm going to be doing. It's not financial advice, but I put my money where my mouth is, and that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. I do want to say, guys, if you do think that Ethereum is going to moon, you think that Solana is going to absolutely go above $500, because I do think that Solana is going to perform very, very, very well here. 
maybe a little bit toppy here, uh, unless Bitcoin continues to the, to the upside, which we'll take a look at Bitcoin shortly. Then check out in the description box below or my pinned comment down below. We have a $5,000 sign-in bonus if you want to take advantage of this free money to long or short Solana uh, or many, many other meme coins. Blowfin is constantly adding lots and lots of coins. If you want to be a crazy degen and long some meme coins as well on Solana, you can do it there. But take advantage of those links, guys. So where is Bitcoin right at? So Bitcoin is right about a very key level, okay? Bitcoin's strong. Bitcoin's strong, especially today. Today, Bitcoin has been performing very well. Uh, we retested a little bit of an area here. I like this wick down here. Uh, I do think that there's a chance that we just trade sideways for the rest of October. And uh, maybe after the United States presidential election is when we start to see this continuation to test previous highs at $74,000. That's my thesis. I do believe that mid-November, we're going to be testing previous highs at $74,000. I said over on crypto Twitter, uh, by the end of next week, I expect $70,000 Bitcoin or at least testing it. And then following that, the week after, we should be testing previous highs. And I do think that a lot of bullish signals are firing off here, guys. So we need to be locked in, paying attention, especially if you think that Solana is going up and you think that the market's going up. Right now is an important time to be paying attention, guys. Don't forget, though. Do not forget. When we see these big, big moves to the upside, there will be shakeouts. There will be 50% drawdowns. Yes, I said 50%. There will be 50% drawdowns, and you guys need to be aware of that. You need to be not shaken out, but be taking profit along the way because one of those drawdowns, I don't want to be a doom and gloomer, but one of those drawdowns will be the end of the bull market. So keep that in mind. We're getting close to fun times in the in the crypto space, but let's hold on to that money. Let's hold on to that, those profits, guys. Uh, that's all I got for you. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that Solana is just going to keep going to the moon and Ethereum is just going to keep bleeding out? Probably uh, Solana is going to significantly outperform Ethereum in my opinion. But we're going to have to see how it plays out. I want to I know what you guys think about that. But that's all I got for you.